Hey guys, Space Marine 658 here. Um, today we're going to be covering how you can actually get um, the specific action key that has been pressed. Um, so specifically this is looking at the enhanced input system. Um, so there may be times when you want to actually compare what's getting pressed and do something different depending on what's being hit um, related to a specific action. For example here, uh, I've got a marked target system. Let's say I wanted um, for the gamepad for it to come from player facing forward versus if I am on mouse and keyboard, I want it to come from right where the mouse is, the, the direct spot where the mouse is. Um, well, to do that, you need to be able to tell which key is being pressed. Is it the gamepad key or is it the mouse key? Um, so what I've got here is a relatively simple setup. As long as you have your enhanced input system set up, um, this should work for you. Um, so just starting off here at the actual input action. So when the input action gets called, I'm taking that input action and passing it into my function. Um, and then from that function, I'm returning the actual pressed key. Um, so whatever key is being hit, um, it returns a key display name. Um, here just as an example, so you can see what I'm actually hitting. Um, and then I've also got some checks here. I could check, is it a gamepad key? Is it a keyboard key? Or is it a mouse button? Um, these are three things you can check off. I believe there's a couple other things as well, but um, there's less information about those, I believe. Um, so let's actually get into this function itself. So the function is relatively simple. Um, what it does is it, whenever you hit this function, it takes in the action that is being hit and it calls to the controller um, which I'm casting to the player controller as a pure cast. And then I'm getting the enhanced input local player subsystem. This specific um, subsystem is returning the response to target, uh, which is up here. And I'm calling a query keys map to action. Um, so when you're calling this specific function, this is saying what all keys are currently being hit. Um, in this in this current local player subsystem and so um, that are mapped to this action and so it goes for or through the for loop and basically goes is input key down and if there is an input key that is down it's going to then check the branch and it's going to say true and so it's going to move into the return if for reason you know the input key is not currently down it's going to skip over it then uh, there may be times when you want to return multiple. Um, let's say your player is holding two keys and you want to check, you know, what keys he's pressing. Um, you can also do the same thing here, but instead of returning an individual key on input keys down, um, you would just add a unique um, key to a local array. Um, so basically you could go through and every key that is being pressed down, you would add to a unique as a unique item to an array and then pass that back instead of a pressed key in the return. All right, so let's actually see this in action. It's relatively straightforward. Right now I have a uh, key binding setup. Let me actually full screen this for y'all. Um, so in the keyboard side of my full screen, or I'm uh, sorry, in the keyboard side of my key binding, I've got mark target set as right mouse button. In the controller version, just for simplicity's sake, um, rather than have to get out of gamepad, um, I just have it set to number nine. So what we should see here is when I right click, we'll see right mouse button being hit. So see all those right mouse buttons hit because I'm hitting it on triggered, which fires multiple times. Um, and then if I hit the nine key, we're also seeing that. So with that, that means that I can use this right mouse, right mouse button all I want, just the same. Or I could also use the nine key instead. So these will work basically identically. The only difference being I can choose to do something differently if I want to based on what the player is currently using. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, if you have any more questions or anything else you'd like to see covered um, about the input action system or anything in Unreal Engine 5, um, definitely let me know. But otherwise, good luck, good hunting.